primetime Kirk Cousins out there slanging oh. it yeah. on a Thursday night. That they was let a fun him get game, away man. with it. They let him take it. They gave it away to him. Laid it right on out there. Shot it like some dice. Grab him before we go craps. You know. So they gave it to him. He didn't take it. Yeah, I don't know. He took it. He can, can well. I ask this? Was that the most entertaining NFL game all year? Yeah, by far. It's pretty entertaining. By far. It was awesome. Uh, was Baltimore, Kansas City in the opener was, was good. Yeah, that's true. Felt, that a, good one felt a little sloppy. This one was just whoever was going to have the ball last felt like they were going to win the game. But um, see, to me, that's interesting because I like defense. You know, I don't know. Just just go figure. I do like defense like to be a part of games, not just to be like a – a cliff note to the game. You know, just they, they, I don't know why there wasn't very much defense. And I don't know why people get so excited when there isn't very much defense. I don't know. It's uncomfortable. It's uncomfortable watching. Just so you guys know. Yeah. Well, I just need to let that be made known. Now, as a fan, I did think that it was fun to see them dueling it out, you know, and, you know, see Kirk Cousins doing what he was doing. Baker Mayfield, he played well, too. You know, it's, can't take anything away from him. You know, every once in a while, you just got to have a young hoe um, that you can, can count on. And if if you have a young hoe that you can count on, then they'll help you get to where you need to be and you have an opportunity to win the game in overtime, you know. For more on that young hoe, Jonas. Uh, <laughs> wait, wait, young hoe. What are you talking about? <laughs> that ain't how you pronounce it, but that's how it's spelled. You know what I mean? So, are you talking about Young Way? Yeah. Yeah. It's spelled. It's spelled. It looks like Young Ho. Is this, a, I mean? <laughs> is this uh, any relation to the Costco Ho that uh, Petros <laughs> was talking about the other day? Yeah. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> nah, uh. LaVar's bringing this up because was this from the Prime interview with Shannon yeah. Sharp when they were trying to <laughs> say his name? Is that what they was doing? No, I didn't even see that. Uh, I, so this wasn't yeah, an original yeah, bit? Dang. I well, I mean, Shan- Shannon and, and Prime, good. Prime was getting on and making fun of him because he tried to say it a few different times. And Prime was like, no, 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 no. I was like, don't, don't go back on it. He's like, you can't act like you know it now. <laughs> that's, that's pretty funny. I mean, yeah. uh, Young Way didn't even have a good game. Like, he had yeah. one blocked. He missed He another. had it blocked, but he was clutch. You know, he, he made it in the, in the clutch situation that forced the overtime. So that they could win the game. So, I, you know what I was thoroughly impressed by, though, and, and I, I, we've talked about this a little bit before, but Zach Robinson, the OC for Atlanta, it's his first time, you know, being an OC, calling plays, and, and having that duty. Dude, five hundred and nine yards for Kirk Cousins. I mean, I, I go That's back when I go back, watch the highlights. I mean, first off, the, the stats around Cousins are ridiculous. He's the only quarterback in NFL history to throw for over 450 yards of three separate teams. Did in Washington, did in Minnesota, now he's done in Atlanta. That's, that's something we said for that. But back to this game, to be able to construct a game plan where you're able to have him drop back, which he's a pocket passer, man. I mean, it's not like there's a whole lot else he's going to be doing outside of that. And guys are getting open, and, and the fact that Darnell Mooney and Jonas, I think you said this yesterday, how Mooney somehow has taken over as the number one wide receiver. Yeah. I, I, don't, I don't think anyone saw that coming. But Kyle Pitts was more involved. That was good to see. He did get involved. I, I was just thoroughly impressed with the way Cousins operated this offense for being his first year in it, and then Zach Robinson dialing this up versus a Todd Bulls defense that, you know, obviously he's, he's a good defensive mind in the NFL. It, it was very surprising in that regard. Uh, I was also surprised they were able to get the uh, get down and clock it with a second left. Yeah, that overtime. was great management, man. Uh, We've seen it not go so well no. in, in games past. No, you know. it's, yeah, it's done, was, really um, it poorly. has happened at times. Um, so Kirk Cousins was on Amazon Prime's post game show, and he talked about how that play came to be, and it actually was, as you mentioned, Brady, uh, the OC Zach Robinson who switched it up last second. Living dangerously. Yeah, you, <laughs> you, you know, the call came in. It was it was a ball's got to go to the sideline. You know, every route was to the sideline, and then he he changed his mind. He said, you know what, Kirk, rip this slant and let's let's clock it and see if we can do it. And uh, we were able to do it by the you know, one second. And if you watch the play over again, when he takes the snap, he kind of bobbles it. 
Like he almost mm. didn't get yeah. the, get the snap down on the turf in time uh, mm. to give uh, give Young Way Koo mm. the opportunity young ho. to uh, Young Ho Koo. You know, and then they get a delay <laughs> game. You know what I mean, the Young Ho <laughs> came through. You know, it's funny you when you when you have those moments, and we we joke about it in practice, but quarterbacks will literally take that snap and almost just push it to the ground, like from their hand, push it to the ground as fast as possible. Because the, the refs know what you're doing. I mean, they see what you're doing. They know the intent. But you almost don't even need to have, like, any sort of grip, anything on it. You're just taking that snap and pushing it right to the ground. So it, it might even look like a fumble at times, like you're bobbling it. But that's kind of by design. That's how quick you're trying to do it. Um, mm. What's the cutoff point? Because you've talked about this before. There's a cutoff point to where you have enough time to get down and clock it. Because that felt like that was right on the border. It was like seven seconds, right? I mean, you, there was like seven seconds when they they got got done with the play. I think I, I think there was twelve. Was it twelve? I think yeah. So so seven. twelve. So when I was in Seattle, we we did a deep dive or the summertime into this. The bare minimum was twelve, hmm. and that was right. like you you are really playing with fire. And and if if you get this play off, and by the way, that was including like it had to be a slant. It couldn't be anything else. It had to be an in-breaking route slant like that so you could get up, and as soon as he was down, you're getting lined up, clocking it. That's what you I'm know, saying. If the it's play fir- started at 12 seconds, but yeah. wasn't it, wasn't it like didn't it finish with seven seconds left? I thought I no. saw seven. Maybe I was wrong. So you need well, it well, maybe, to end maybe, with 12 seconds? No, 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 no. I'm saying you need, like, if there's 12 seconds on the clock and you don't have any timeouts. Yep. That is the bare minimum. If it's anything less than that, I would say you've got to you've got to throw the ball out of bounds. Like it's got to go to the sidelines or out of bounds. Right, right. And then you can kick. But in this case, with 12 seconds, you're saying, okay, if we really feel like we have to get more yardage and we need to throw the ball in the field, we can try this. But it's extremely risky. We used to always say 16 was safe. Like, you knew you could throw a ball in bounds, go clock with 16 seconds. But, like, 12, that's it. Like, that's the cutoff. And, and, and for, for the point you're making, LeVar, is the play, like, he might have been able to throw the slant, and, and the play itself might have been done at seven seconds. Right. It right, takes another right. five, six seconds to get guys, to, to get, to get the line of scrimmage top. lined up yeah, and then snap it and spike it. Because it literally yeah. was one second on the clock that's right. when they clocked it. Yes, and I really believe, and, and I believe Jonas, you can correct me if I'm wrong on this. I believe the NFL now too, they will go down to like the millisecond in these instances. So you know, so looking at the clock, they'll give them the benefit of the doubt if it says one and it's, it's like turning to zero, but there's still some decimals. I, I believe that's how they're doing it now. That's got to be so nerve wracking as an offense to try and get down. So what there. you get the big bucks and, for, man? Um, and you I was probably <laughs> situational football, man. I, Think about it. that could cost you, or it could, you know, it could credit you. It, it could reward you. You got to be able to operate, man. It's also some credit. it's also big in the division as well, too, because you know uh, Tampa was three and one. They moved right. to four and one, and now they both got identical records. And because of the head to head, now you know right. Atlanta for the time being is ahead of them in the standings. So that was a massive loss for Tampa Bay. And yeah, Baker Mayfield looks good. And I, I every time I see him play, and see the way he plays in Tampa Bay, I just wonder how many Browns fans are like, "Are you serious? Just dude? sick, man. Like just what? Sick. Like what happened here? <laughs> you got one on the radio right now. <laughs> yeah. Just sick. So, yeah. You're talking about my Super Bowl browse? Oh, 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 I'm, oh. I'm still holding oh, on man. until they're hey. not until they're 